What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty. Back in the building, back in the snake room. Back bringing you guys another first look. Today we're gonna take a look at these Katrinas. They come out this Saturday, actually tomorrow. So by the time you see this video, it will be tomorrow or maybe you already got your pair. <laughs> What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty. Back in the building, back in the car. It's kinda loud in here. What's good, y'all? How y'all doing, man? Today is Jordan Day. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Saturday, and I'm about to go to the mall and make a purchase. The purchase I'm about to make, y'all already know, is obvious. The Katrina, the Hall of Fames, the Derek Anson PEs, whatever you guys wanna call it, man. So there are the Air Jordan 3s, if y'all haven't know, the red and white joints. I'm actually fine on these shoes, man. I actually like these shoes. Definitely excited to have them. Can't wait to pick them up, give them a hand, give a more thorough review. I did have an early look. I just never posted in time, man. Just scheduling. Thinking I have more time than I really do. I need to really work on getting videos out ASAP, man. I'm not very good at that. I have tons of footage that I sit on and I just be logging, gagging. My arm's getting kind of tired. I got a lot of footage I just be sitting on. Just never had the time to post it, man. So I'm gonna try to change all that. I'm gonna go and pick these shoes up, take it to the house, do a quick thorough overview and keep it moving, all right? Follow me. Am I tripping or did these Jordan Hall of Fame sold out? I'm like, I refreshed the Nike app like several times. I even closed the app out and reopened it and it says sold out. Now, mind you, it is 10.35 in the morning. I haven't got my pair, which makes me a little worried, man. I'm in route. As always, I'm always late on Saturdays to get my pair. There's nothing new. Uh, finish line, pick up. Our last roll call is around 10 o'clock and it's 10.35. I had some errands to do real quick. Now I'm in route. But that's crazy. They sold out. I think it's a dope shoe. I mean, I should expect that. Nor do I really care if they're sold out in a sense. But I'm worried because what if I don't get my pair, man? I hope to God no one in my city is looking to cop these as much as I am, man. It's crazy. I walk into this mall, man. I pray to God that they still have my peers. That's all I could do at this moment is pray. Just saw that on the Nike app. Really? So I was able to secure my pair. Finish line came through and also stopped by Champs to get me some basketball shorts. And I'll show you that later. Where did I park? Oh, that's where I drove my car. It is a wrap. Just able to get my pair of shoes. The Hall of Fame 3, size 12, my size. We'll take a quick look before we take it to the house. Jordan 3, Hall of Fame, Derek Anson PE, or Katrina, whatever you guys wanna call it. Got the hang tag, pretty clean shoe, man. I'm actually excited to have this shoe. More so than any other Jordan 3 that I picked up this year, except for the cement threes, the, the black joints. I own a few pairs, but this is my favorite one. I think I will bust these out before I bust out the other joints too as well. But anyways, man, we'll save that. My first thoughts and first impression until I get to the house, all right? Follow me. All right, I'm back in the office, back in the sneak room. But I'll show you guys my pickups. Today's Saturday, today's Jordan Day. You already know it came out. You already saw the clips previously about what I copped. Also, in addition to this pickup, I stopped at Champs. Picked up two pairs of shorts. I'm definitely gonna swag these out. I'm gonna customize these. Don't know what I'm gonna customize them to, but I'm gonna try to create something unique. This is the black, red, and white shorts with the cut on the side. Yeah, these are size large. Definitely gonna customize this. Haven't thought of what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm trying to do something unique. Here's another pair. And what's unique about these, they're thick. They also got pockets and it was a uh, two for one. So pretty much you buy one, get the second one free. So in, in other ways, like $20 per short, I think this is pretty dope, good deal. I'm gonna find some patches, throw it on this joint, and then yeah, swag them out. And here's the meat and potatoes of this pickup. Here's Jordan, peep the label. Size 12, my size, you already know what drop the day. If you're late to this video, it is the Hall of Fame threes. If you wanna know what they look like, here you go. Jordan 3s don't have the Nike here on the back. It's not a big deal. You do got the jump man with the air at the bottom. Is that the baby by the door? Do got a hang tag. Do have tumble leather throughout the upper. Cement print on the toe box. 
on the back heel of the shoe. Come with white laces, red bracelets, and also white bracelets on the upper. Tongue is also tumble. You got a jump man on the tongue. And behind the tongue is also red. And the insole of the shoe is also red. On the outsole of the shoe, gray, white, and red. With a Jordan name on the back heel. You do got an ear bubble. And you do got the red hits on the back heel of the shoe. And again, on the eyelid. And that's pretty much it. It. This shoe means more to me than just the Jordan 3 silhouette. They also have a lot of meaning. They bring back some nostalgia because I remember this being a PE by Derek Anderson. He also played for Kentucky, the one national championship. But his senior year, man, he uh, tours his, his ACL. So he's pretty much out for the whole season, but he still got drafted. He got drafted, you know, like round 10 or 15th pick between there. Forgot what team he got drafted to, but he was on Jordan brand. I think his career didn't pan out what he did in college. I think he could have been a lot better player had he not got hurt, but you know, he was a dope player. I remember it was Tony Delt on the team. I want to say Ron Mercer was a freshman was on that same team. You know, they had a stacked team, some Antoine Walker. Some other cats man on that Kentucky team. That was a stacked team back in the days, man. That was back in the 90s. Well, anyways, he rocked this shoe and it was his PE shoe. Then the second time they bought this shoe around was for the relief funds or auction for Katrina. They auctioned this shoe off. I don't know who won. I don't even remember if it was more than one shoe. From what I'm gathering, I thought it was maybe one shoe, possibly more, but from what I'm hearing, it seems like it was just one shoe. And then thirdly, they bought the shoe for the Hall of Fame. Hence the reason why they call the Hall of Fame. This colorway was the colorway they used for the Jordan 3s, and Jordan got inducted to the Hall of Fame. So this shoe have multiple stories. And again, it doesn't have the Nike Air on the back because no shoe did of this colorway. Derek Anson PEs didn't have Nike Air on the back. Katrina shoe didn't have Nike Air on the back. Hall of Fame shoe did not have Nike Air on the back. So that's pretty much it, man. You already know, if you own Jordan 3s, these shoes look the same, feel the same, wear the same, size the same. I was actually able to get these for below retail. So the retail was 190. I was able to use my $20 off coupon at finish line. So I bought it $20 cheaper. So I definitely paid under $200 for this joint, including tax. Currently, they're sold out on the sneaker app as I was driving to the mall. I went there late as usual. As I was driving there, I checked the sneaker app and it was gone, sold out. To a point I checked multiple times and it was still sold out. You know how sneaker app be glitching? Are not really they're just psyching you out they're going now as we speak i haven't checked so i'm not sure if you can get this and by the time you see this video if they're sold out they're probably gone by now unless they do a restock you know they're good for that as well like your finish line foot locker etc this is the other shoe the right shoe I like to show both shoes because i don't want y'all thinking that i just have one shoe just for the video but yeah it's both shoes size 12 my size i actually had an early look at this shoe i just never had the time to post it i apologize about that i try to get these first looks out as soon as I can um, help you guys out and also help me determine if I'm gonna pick especially when I get to see them in hand but I feel miserably on getting that video done and getting it out so here you go hope you guys cop it if you want if you like this video hit that thumbs up I'm not sure when you're gonna see this but hurry up and try to cop if it's still readily available and not going too much for resale so you know if you don't mind paying 20 or 30 dollars over re oh. man that's pretty much it for this video man I appreciate you taking time to watch this video you know what I'm saying I had a early morning actually not really it was late I had some errands to run before i ran to the store you know finish line cutoff time was 10 o'clock but it still had a size 12 my size available so i was able to cop and bless for that and also i copped it below retail which was humbling as well you know hence the reason ball on the budget try to save as much money as i can for these kicks behind me um all other than that man i got those shorts as you saw i'm gonna definitely um do something with these shorts trying to create something unique Hopefully I start, you know, putting some, some material, some some clothing out there for you guys to obtain as well. If that is feasible for me in the near future, I'll definitely put some stuff together that I don't mind rocking. I know a lot of people got their clothing line, but I don't got lines. And, you know, I don't mind rocking my own joint once in a while. So that's a start. And that's what you see there. Stay tuned. I got some more videos coming, some pickup videos. I know I'm, I'm kind of slowing down the pickup videos because, you know, it's like, ah. Uh, or unboxings rather. I'd rather say unboxing because the pickup videos you can make a vlog out of it. Unboxing is pretty much like, oh, look what I got. So I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more and creative when I'm doing these videos, especially these pickup videos, or rather these unboxings, because it can get very mundane and, and boring. So I have a tons of stuff I haven't shown you guys, and not literally a ton, but I got a lot of stuff that I haven't shown you guys. Without taking any more of your time, I appreciate each and every single one you guys for taking your time to watch this video. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and that subscribe button, that notification bell as well. But Joe, don't stop there. Hit always get a notification when I drop a video. 
and for everybody else man keep leaving your comments down below and i would hope you was able to cop a pair of these katrina's hall of fames Derek Anderson PEs, whatever you guys want to call it. I know they're sold out. Hope they're readily available in your spot when you watch this video. If this video somehow changed your mind, good luck to y'all. All right? Until then, man, you already know my slogan. Good to go.